Well, good afternoon, Trader Sean Kozak here tuning in again with Neural Street Trading Academy and welcome to another Trade Room Recap. Now, first and foremost, if you're new to Neural Street, each day and week we put out these recap videos on our channel so that we can kind of talk about the strategies that are being traded in the classroom, talk about the indicators and the systems that are being used and the markets and the conditions that we're facing. Now, what we encourage you to do is hit that subscribe button because what we want to do is get this channel growing so we can help more people like you. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on. That's going to keep you notified when we put out awesome content like this so that we can keep you learning and improving as an active trader. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about the last couple of days. Um, in our trading room this week, we spent the entire time focusing on auction theory and talking about profile arbitrage and high volume node locations. And the reason this is really valuable is because it has a lot to do with the institutional auction, has a lot to do with the flow of capital and liquidity is what really moves the market. So when you understand how to read price structure as well as volume analysis, you can understand the piece of the puzzle that's fitting together. Now, on top of that, it really depends on conditions. And I think conditions have a lot to do with how a trader does. And this is something I was thinking about yesterday. I was thinking, you know, I want to do a video on conditions. I want to do a video on talking about identifying the conditions so you can identify the expectation of the market. And the last two days, we had some really strong trending days. Uh, and what happens in those days is the market can really give you a lot of follow through for directional strategies. And after yesterday, we had a really big trending day. And then today became an inside day. And on an inside day, the markets don't move that much. You get a lot more churn. You get a lot less uh, volatility in the market. Volume drops a bit. And you got to be more specific with how you manage the trades and so in those types of conditions today was a great idea a great day for base hits um I took my first trade out the gates was a small stop loss. I managed the break. I managed the stop to be less than my full stop, which was a decision on management. And then the next trade I took on the S&P was a win. I was able to bank out T1 and then I pulled my stop in for a much bigger break even uh, plus a few ticks for commissions. And then I took a break even on crude oil because it wasn't giving me the follow through. And then I took profits on the YM. So I, was, I took four trades and I missed really, really great trades on gold. I just wasn't paying attention to the chart at the time. And they both hit targets, which were fantastic trades and really, all of the stuff that I'm doing in here is talking about keeping you guys aware of how to read structure, how to read volume, how to read directional auction patterns, and really just how to think on your feet, right? Uh, trading is about being able to think and being able to improvise in the changing dynamics of a market. And that's exactly what we do here. So uh, I'll go over the trades. I want to go here. Let's take a look at the, the YM trade. And the interesting YM trade at this morning was I actually ended up trying to get short off this point of control in here. I took a short off this point of control and I had my stop loss up here. But then as this market kind of came in and we didn't get any follow through and then it came back up, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to take my exit because I don't want to get in caught against counter directional markets. And it was a good decision because they blew through and I would have had a full stop and I took less, I took less of a stop. So I was able to cut my loss by less, which is a, is a decision on good trade management, really. And so the next trade out the gates was the S&P. I took a short off the S&P. Now the auctions look a little different now because the markets move throughout the day. So realistically, when you have dynamic changing markets, what I did was I took a short on a trap. So this was a trap environment and this, this short ended up giving me my first target. And then uh, actually, I, actually I took my first target down here and then I moved my stop down here and I just closed out of the position. So I did get a decent trade out of that. I was able to get a small base hit out of that market, which is fine. And, uh, and then the next trade after that was crude oil. Crude oil just wasn't giving me any love. Like it, it would have eventually given me my profit, but I didn't want to sit through this. And what happened was I ended up getting short at the point of control. It was a trap trade that got, I missed the trap fill here, which would have given me a little bit of a base hit and came in to fill the point of control. My stop loss was originally up here. But then the auction shifted to a P and I'm not interested in trading short against P shifting distributions. That's just a dangerous play because then the market's trying to shift value off the lows. And this is almost looking like an inverse head and shoulders. And if they break up here, you can see the pattern here. Boom, boom, boom. I don't want to be short something that's trying to squeeze. So in that regard, in that regard, what we do is we just close out. I just closed out. I didn't end up getting anything. I just, I'm not fine with that. And then the next trade I took was the YM and I actually just took this trade and uh, I probably could have stayed in it, but I took my first target and I moved my stop to break even because I just, I wasn't, you know, as a weaker market, the conditions here a little bit slower. So I took my first hit and this was a really good trade because at the time it was the point of control at the ARB level. And we were, a, we had an up structure 
So price came up, came down, hit the ARB level. I got my first target up here, and then I just closed out of the position because I just didn't want to take any further heat. And I was going into the lunchtime, and I'm just like, you know. But you can see that it did come back to test support again, and it is going back up. And I think there's a potential for them to actually lift the market here on this trade. So I took that $1,000 loss that I had on the YM, and I shaved off 600 of it, and I was able to make back some cash. So I am waiting on two trades. I, I'm, I'm up just a very small base in. I consider this a flush day for me, right? But in situations like this, where's the next opportunity? So this is really something I've got my eyes on here, guys. I uh, This was a counter trend trade that I did. I was planning on shorting here. I had an order here. It didn't get filled. I won't touch this now because it's a test of that volume. And what this is, this is realistically uh, a really good opportunity to short. This was a trap. It came in, hit the node on the trap. This was a trap here because this is a pocket that the market could trade through, hit the first high volume note at a daily resistance level and sold off. Counter trend, that's what I was looking at trading, but I didn't get the fill. So I won't touch this again because the market did not come up there. Now, on the other side of it, I'm waiting for them to break down actually a little further. I'm actually, I, I, I might miss this little rally that's going on in the NASDAQ and I'm fine with that. But where the real big opportunity lies for me is this blue box down here. And I'll explain what this is. This is what we call a market trap. And a market trap is when you break the lows of structure only to go into a trap on another support below it. And so this is a trap in here. And what we look for in those traps is we look for the high volume node in the trap. That's where you want to get ripping because those are the trades that nobody really knows exist. Those are the trades that nobody can see it. Everybody can see the lows of the wicks, but they don't see the trap and they don't see the node in the trap where the big money sits. So that's a trap trade waiting to get on the NASDAQ. I got a pending order here for a position there. And I've also, I'm waiting on a trap trade here on the Y on the NAS, on the Russell. Russell never came down. You can see the Russell came into the trap, hit the area already, gave a reaction, but it never got to my node Never got to my volume node. I'm waiting for them to come deeper into that support level, test the VWAP on that trap. And if they don't give it to me, they don't give it to me, right? It's uh, the market's moving quite slow, but it's a P-shaped distribution in an uptrend on the right side of the VWAP and structure coming down into a high volume node. This is where I really want to be a buyer. So uh, it's just being really patient. I mean, it's patient trading. It's auction trading. Auction trading is very patient trading. If you're willing to wait for their levels to come to you and you understand what you're looking for, it can be really great trading. So uh, yesterday, very profitable day. Today, profitable day. Um, Monday, or excuse me, Tuesday was a very uh, was a very shaky day because I got stopped on the natural gas markets. And then ultimately, I did make my money on some of the other markets. But it was a, I did take a loss on Tuesday. But the nice thing is, is that uh, we can teach you how to trade this, right? And, and if you want to take trades and you want to learn how to, to read the market and, you know, we do teach scalping and we do teach order flow. We do teach a lot of this, but we do spend a lot of time on auction theory because the markets are based off volume. And so you need to learn how to read the volume. So traders, give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot if you like the video because it shows me that these content videos are actually helping you. Uh, if you're interested in learning this, all you got to do is click below and sign up for a trade room. Come and join us in the classroom, learn how to trade with us, and we'll teach you how to read the markets like a professional. Take care, traders. Have a fantastic day.